So Keegan, you know, this, this journey you're taking with fine food and wine, what was your epiphany? How did you get started on this? I have to tell you that I, I, something in my childhood kind of changed my sensibility about some foodstuffs, and it was growing up in Germany, getting pulled out of school to stomp grapes. You know, quite frankly, at the time, I really saw the work. I really saw it. There's nothing fun about stomping grapes with your bare feet when it's 40 degrees outside. And you don't get to participate in the rewards. No, no, you don't. You're a little kid, right? It's just work. You're just in a, you're in a tank, and you're, that's what you're doing. Well, as I grew up, and then when I did become a chef, and I started to think back about that experience and how these people are living wine day in and day out, that's their life every day, then artisans intrigue me. They always have. Artisans that create chocolate, that create wine, that create coffee, that vanilla bean plantations. You know, these are these are things that are high priced, high dollar, high quality. There's a huge difference between great and good. Yeah. And uh, I'm interested in the great. I'm interested in the exception. I'm interested in the uncommon. And uh, and so Thanks to you, <laughs> planning a trip where we can actually, actually go do meet, a lot of this stuff and meet these people. Get inside the minds of the people. Absolutely. Who do Break bread with them. Have a great time. I do a little of this. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Cheers. Wow, that's a stupid wine. <laughs> Golly. <laughs>